Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Scott Westover, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show to talk about Google Internet safety. I love it. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How about you? I, in today's society, I'm doing really, really good. <laughs> so, February 11th, today is Safer Internet Day. Tell us what that means. Yeah, so Safer Internet Day was um, created in 2004 um, as a holiday to basically take a look at internet safety. So things ranging from cybersecurity to um, how to how to properly use social media and to generally stay safe online. Why is online safety so important today? So these days we do almost everything online, you know, whether that be shopping or banking or paying bills. But at the same time, four in 10 Americans say that they've had their information compromised. So we think it's important to take a moment on Safer Internet Day to share some best practices to make sure that you stay safe. Okay, let's talk about the 66% of Americans who use the same passwords on multiple sites. What do you say about that? Well, I, I think that that is, if you're trying to improve your internet safety, that's a, a good place to start. It's really important that you use your, um, use a unique password across your most sensitive accounts. Um, kind of like how you would have a different key for your house and your car and your office. Um, and also to, to use a, a strong password, so not your pet's name plus one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to take this Facebook question because they're saying that they use a password uh, 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 app to keep track of password and got locked out of the app. What are they to do? Well, that's why it's important that you set up a phone number or a recovery email for your password manager so that if you do get locked out, you have a way of recovering access. That's really good information. Okay, what else do you, do you want us to know about being safer on the Internet? Because there's so many areas we could cover. Yeah, so really, uh, the, the, the first step for people is, you know, abide by the basics. So apart from having a strong and unique password, we also want people to be sure they keep their software up to date. So I'm sure you've been there where you get a, pe a pesky pop-up on your computer saying that you need to restart it to make sure that you've updated the software. Doing that's actually really important. Even if it takes, you know, two to three minutes out of your day, um, those software updates are really important to make sure that your computer is safe. Okay, this one comes from Instagram. They say that they are in their normal work day working at home, and intermittently they'll get a audio message that's saying your, your system has been compromised and do certain things. What is that about? Well, I think that when it comes to, you know, a strange audio message you might receive or a um, suspicious email, you really need to scrutinize the source of that, whether looking at the phone number and, and seeing if it's one that you recognize or looking at the email address and making sure it's not um, someone imitating someone else. So for example, if you got an email from me, but the O in Google was actually a zero, that would be something to um, definitely keep an eye out for and, and not click that link. Okay, uh, someone on Twitter wants to know, what's a cyber expert? Simple question. <laughs> Well, I think it's it's someone who um, you know studies these best practices and and kind of goes around trying to educate people on what they can do to stay safe online. Um, but at the same time, you know we can all always improve. So even a cyber expert, you know, I can still be be doing more to stay safe. Okay, and finally, it says four in ten Americans say their personal information has been compromised. What can we do? Well, again, it really does come back to making sure that you're using a unique password and using tools that will let you know if your data has been compromised. So, for example, in Chrome, we have a built-in feature where if you use a password that has actually fallen into the wrong hands, we'll notify you so that you can change it quickly. Okay, February 11th, you guys, is safe you know, safer Internet day. Can they go online somewhere and find this out, Scott? Yeah, I would recommend going to google.com slash security, um, and that will have these tips as well as more information on how to stay safe online. Well, cyber expert Scott Westover, thank you so very much for making us safer on the Internet. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. 
It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <laughs> 